Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Okay, so there's only two treasures left in Castle Palamessia, and they're right at the end of the dungeon. So all that's left is a beeline, and that's what we're going to do. Let's make our way up this direction, and up the stairs to the next floor. In which case, we just have a straight line, and first encounter is a cockatrice and three flying rays. Alright, this isn't terrible, but I do need to use some Osmos. And that's what I'm gonna do. Osmos. Uh, may as well do it again with Maria. Guy and Richard can nuke him. Uh, nearly 50 MK. At least I got uh, a decent amount for all of them. And I don't mind that whatsoever. Anyway, we'll go ahead and just run. I'll use this. Oh no, the wind flute's gone! Well, one of the treasures actually is another wind flute, so I'm not too upset. But I think the thing only broke after one use. What the hell? Anyway, Flare 2. At least the flyers don't really do much, the cockatrice isn't doing anything because, well, it was in the back row, and all they do is attack. Uh, what the heck am I doing? Flare. Alright, that's that. Moving on down into the next area. Keep on rolling. And what's this next one? Another general. Christ, that's two and three encounters now. At least there's just one of them rather than the double shit show. Berserk on Guy Nuke. At least, I mean, with this, at the very least, I do have the, um, I am kind of glad I got the dragon armor and the rune axe from them, at least one of them, and overall, it is pretty cool. So, 1500 gil, unfortunately, means no real good treasure, but that's alright. I got the two 5% on two encounters, that's a victory in its own right. Alright, double lemme isn't that shit. It is when it's an ambush and it's troll. Charmed again. You know the news, grass is green. Oh wow, he actually got out of it too. That's kind of a surprise really. More flaring! Waiting for all this stuff to go through, and another confusion. Well, at least with this one, it won't, uh... All it takes is for Fury and a guy to attack, and that's it. And speaking of guy, there it goes. All 
All right, moving on into the next floor, which has a small passage up here. Going up more stairs, and finally, we're at this floor. Black Knights and the Stone Golem. Oh, boy. Well, if anything, I can handle this without a problem. Just run Berserk on Guy, he'll go after the Stone Golem. The Knights are a joke. Lots of damage, but, like, nothing spectacular, either. Alright, arrow four on the, uh, golem. They're gonna target that. Sharon will target one Dark Knight, and Richard takes the other one. Yay, stop. Of course it's the stop spell. Unfortunately, Furion's out of commission for now, which is... eh. I'm not gonna get too upset about it. All that's left will be one Dark Knight. Ah, oh, crap! If I knew it was that... I wasn't paying attention to HP, honestly. But, uh... If I had known that, I would've let Guy target what was going to be... His own target with... Dark Knights. Okay, wait a minute. Um... Flare again. Fair enough, I still get it wrong. <laughs> this has not worked out too well. Actually, we are getting to the end of the dungeon, I don't think it matters now. See, that's how you do it, Richard. All those sword swings, you couldn't do anything, and Maria just punches it with her staff... ...and wins. Kyrian did not get an HP boost. God damn it. Another diamond shield. Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter anymore. Diamond shield's cool, but, uh... I already have enough lightning resistance anyway. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, there's still a few more... ...things to do. Particularly getting those last two treasures before I do anything else, so I still need to do some healing. Once I finally get those treasures, then I don't really... ...give a shit. Alright, roll on. Quadruple flying ray and a packagress. Alright, if anything, I can, uh, you know what? It's been a while. No, I need to Osmos. I was gonna bolt seven, but no, I just realized I do have to run through this entire floor. See if I can get myself over like 70 MK and 60 on Furion. Eh, 64. Geez, Furion being that slow is kind of sucky. Yeah, that was terrible. 50 and 64. I was hoping for 60 and 70, but apparently that wasn't going to happen. Alright. Bolt 7 on the Cockatrice. I'll run Flare 2 on it for good measure.
Still doesn't kill it. Well then. Alright. Yeah, I do need to run some bolt anyway. So I may as well. Also keep trying to trade flare a little bit. Even though we are closing in towards the end of the game, so it might not be as special. I can at least try a tiny bit. There we go! And Jody up for Maria. Alright, keep on rolling this way. And we could march north, but not yet. The final treasures are on the western end. Quadruple Lamia. Yikes. I'll just keep training Flair. If anything, I'm hoping I can just get through this whole thing. Not a bunch of crap. I'm already past 11 minutes, approaching 12 now. Oh, wow, House 53. Well, I wasn't expecting him to do that much damage, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not even surprised Richard got confused anymore. It's just clockwork at this point. Though, with him being that, I am gonna run Fire 7 instead. Oh, I fucked up. Someone's getting hit. And sure enough, it's Maria. Hopefully that'll actually give her 900 HP. And I may as well make Fire 8 happen. 500 damage. Good lord, Richard! Just destroying us! Shield level up, vitality, vitality and HP. How is Guy getting all the HP and Maria's not? I don't understand. I really don't. He's got 112, Chris. I may as well make him cure. Run all this. Oh crap, I was thinking something else. Alright, there we go. Eh, Richard, who cares at this point? Keep on rolling up. You'll get your hands on your final two chests, which contain a Hellfire for Fire 5, which is pretty much crap at this point, but I can still use it. And another wind flute. Cool, I get my Cyclone 13 back. At the same time, I might as well just put that in since I'm not really using it. Likewise for Maria and the wind flute. What now? Two flowers. Okay, this isn't that terrible. I can just do. Actually, let's try break this damn hellfire. Well, spells, fire seven. Ice seven. And attack. Huh, that was easy. 
Alright, at this point, I don't have to worry about uh, MP too much. Oh, zero gil. What'd I get? Two Valiums? Fuck off. Don't need any of that. This, on the other hand, is a little more annoying. I'll just run another Hellfire and be done with it. Likewise, I'll do a Wind Flute. Go nuts. Two sixty four is not bad. For this thing, at least. I actually killed one of them, too. Yeah, this Firefox not gonna be doing much. It's a hellfire, for God's sakes. It only really worked against the crappy undead that I no longer see anymore. And I'm glad they're gone. Personally. Is it gone? Nope, it's still there. Keep using it. What about your wind flute? Okay, it's still there, but I want to keep it for now. Let's, uh, run flare on this cockatrice. I'm surprised that actually killed it. <laughs> How about that? Keep rolling. And here we come towards the center. Alright, before I do anything, let's take a look at Richard's equipment. Flame sword. I'm, I gotta bring back that blood sword and the elixir. So what I can do instead is Richard's unfortunately leaving the party. So what I'll do is drop some stuff that I don't really need. The hero actually could have stayed with him if it didn't break. Of course, any of these don't do anything, so it just stays as is. I'm going to, as much as I want to really want to, I'm just going to drop the kill staff and be done with it. Likewise, I will drop the, um... Take one of my Sage's Wisdoms, at least. Diamond Gloves, who cares? Black Garb, I already got one. Diamond Shield, all oh, yada 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 yada, who the fuck cares? Wait, do I have a worse sword than the Flame Sword? Uh... I'll just, uh, I'll just take the mango. It was a good weapon for a while, but at this point... Uh, why do I, why am I even keeping it? Anyway, head forward. Pretty sure... There he is. Hi. Talk to him? What the hell? Oh boy.
Unfortunately, Richard leaves the party, and now we have pandemonium. Whoa. And with that, Richard leaves the party with all the stuff that I decided to scrap, and Leon becomes the final member. At last, he's here. With a buttload of stuff. He's got the flame sword, diamond equipment, which means his evasion is absolutely shit, as well as a poison axe, which unfortunately doesn't really work as intended because of the dual wielding. Do note that he's left-handed, so he does need to have his stuff on the left hand. I will put that second blood sword on him. And I'm also going to change his equipment to something a little bit better over the course of this next little bit. Particularly, I'm going to change all the diamond, which is supposed to cover lightning. Instead, I'm going to give him the black garb to cover lighter stuff. It's not that much defense difference, plus it covers matter elemental. And the diamond helmet, I'm going to give... Uh... The flame helmet to cover ice. Also, an ice shield to cover fire. So we can now use that poison axe, which will be fine. As for the second weapon... I'll let him use this bolt. Yeah, he's got no magic capabilities because he has no freaking MP, but his stats are pretty strong. Look at all that. Absolutely incredible. And of course, all those stats for weapon skills are pretty good too. Obviously, he's got a good chunk in axes and swords, spears, just about everything really. Yet he has a magic stat 36. So, letting him cast one spell might put his MP up a good chunk. Or hell, just osmosing him. And now we finally reach the final section of the game. Where all the good stuff finally starts coming into play. And... That'll be a wrap. Alright, so we're at 24 minutes. Oh, wow. Really? Well, at least Leon gets his first run. With us. Six sorcerers, though? What the fuck? I'm just gonna fight. Confusion does not compute. Curse also does not compute. Except if you're Leon. God damn it. Yeah, I absolutely wasn't expecting a one step encounter, so this episode ends up taking longer than I was expecting. Joy. Oh, great. Hey, 6 2. Oh, you guys are insufferable. Screw it, I'm just gonna get out of here. I just I don't have the time for this bullshit. Go ahead and just, uh... 
I'll go to the item shop at least and get a crucifix to cover a curse. Actually, I do have the heal spell that might cover it. Maybe. Yeah, heal three. And I'll just put myself into the inn, rest up, and we're off to the final dungeon, which is the Jade Passage and Pandemonium. And we start to cover that section with the next episode. So I'll cut things here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.